Welcome to Season 2 of True and Scary. New true and scary stories from around the world. With your host Joseph. Our feature subject this season will be serial killers. Hang tight after this short break we will kick off this exciting new season. True and Scary. This is Season 2 of True and Scary. As of now you can hear us on Amazon Music. True and Scary your host. Joseph. Remember to like and subscribe. A few years ago my boss went on holiday for a couple of weeks to Spain. Midway through the holiday he got a phone call from the police informing him that his sister had passed away in a fire in her flat. So he rushes back home early, deals with the police and the passing and everything. My employers told him to take some time off to grieve, which he duly did. When he came back to work on a Monday morning a few weeks later, We invited him into our coffee room to talk and offer him our sympathies and support. About half an hour later he excuses himself to start work. He walks into his office, sits down at his desk, turns on his computer, and checks to see if there are any answer phone messages. And the very first message that plays is his sister, screaming down the phone, help me. Help me, I'm trapped I can't breathe still sends chills down my spine to think about it. As you can imagine, he was pretty traumatized. The Voice My grandfather told me this story about how one time he was sitting in a chair in front of the house when he heard his wife repeatedly calling him from inside the house. The thing is, My grandmother passed away a few years before that. But he told me that the voice was suppressing that he actually got up to look inside the house, and as soon as he got inside he heard a loud crash behind him and turned around to see that the chair he has been sitting in moments ago had been crushed by the cast iron gutter that fell on it. If he didn't come inside the house he would have probably been seriously injured. Every time I think about it, it sends chills down my spine. Welcome to Season 2 of True and Scary. New true and scary stories from around the world. With your host Joseph. Our feature subject this season will be serial killers. Hang tight after this short break we will kick off this exciting new season. True and Scary. and scary with your host joseph serial killers is our featured topic this season thank you for being with us true and scary car at the red light driving home with a buddy from the high school summer job at the local amusement park it's about three in the morning and there is no traffic at all get stuck at the red light that never ends and while we are waiting another car pulls up next to us a big black hearse in immaculate condition, with a clown in the driver's seat, with full makeup and costume on. He never moved, didn't look at us, nothing, just stared straight ahead the whole time. This is season 2 of True and Scary. As of now you can hear us on Amazon Music. True and Scary your host. Joseph, remember to like and subscribe. Welcome to Season 2 of True and Scary. 
new true and scary stories from around the world with your host joseph our feature subject this season will be serial killers hang tight after this short break we will kick off this exciting new season true and scary raw in a dorm for two years in college a girl who had been having stress issues finally snapped she was found by someone in a dark stairwell i was in an older dorm circa 1887 so there were plenty of nooks and crannies by the time she was found she had already torn out over half of her hair and had eaten it she just kept on saying i just need a haircut in a perfectly normal voice it took six of us and the police sedating her to finally get her strapped down to an ambulance gurney to this day i can't forget how powerful she was she couldn't have weighed over 120 pounds yet she had this sort of superhuman ability to rip her arms away to tear out another clump of hair and stuff it into her mouth all with a perfectly straight face in september 2014 a utah boy discovered his parents and three brothers deceased after arriving home the salt lake tribune reported finding a to-do list in the house which included tasks like feed the pets and find someone to watch the house written on it the found list gave the impression that the parents were preparing to go on vacation however there was no suicide note no warning that they would do this and no explanation after autopsies it was revealed that the five family members consumed a lethal concoction of drugs that september day however why and how the parents and kids consumed the drugs remained a mystery some time later police revealed more terrifying information about the case according to family members statements the parents motivations included believing that the world's end was near and frequently spoke of leaving this world apparently scared of the apocalypse the parents poisoned the kids and themselves true and scary with your host joseph serial killers is our featured topic this season thank you for being with us true and scary on november 10th 1923 nathan leopold committed to travel six hours from chicago to the university of michigan accompanied by his friend and lover richard lowe they intended to break into Loeb's former fraternity. But all they had taken was a typewriter, a few watches, some pen knives, and around $80 in loose change. Leopold was agitated on the way back to Chicago because the robbery had been a big effort for a small payoff. When Leopold finally stopped complaining, Loeb began to discuss his idea of committing the perfect crime. While they continued to travel through the country roads toward Chicago, they broke into several homes and started a few fires, but none of their crimes had been published in the media. Loeb desired to commit a crime that would create a huge buzz, abduction and homicide of a child. After plotting their plan through the winter, in May, they kidnapped a child they knew had a wealthy father who would pay the ransom. Following the abduction, they beat the boy's skull with a chisel, jammed a rag down his throat, and disposed of the body. When the two returned to the city, Leopold dropped the ransom letter into a post box. However, their plan to execute the perfect crime failed. The following day, a passerby spotted the child's lifeless body, and soon the police traced Leopold by finding the eyeglasses he dropped near the body. On May 31st, 10 days after the homicide, both young men came clean and revealed to the state's attorney how they had slayed Bobby Franks. Nathan Leopold confessed that they had killed Bobby only for the thrill of it. At the time of the murder, Richard Loeb and Nathan Leopold were 18 and 19 years old. They were sentenced to 99 years in prison. is our featured topic this season thank you for being with us true and scary welcome to season two of true and scary new true and scary stories from around the world with your host joseph 
Our feature subject this season will be serial killers. Hang tight after this short break we will kick off this exciting new season. True and Scary